more time. Right, brothers and sisters. So right, so the most high God, right. It's like you uh you know, you like you tapping out. Seriously. Cause I realize there's a difference between flirting with God and just saying, Oh yeah, you know, this and that and I love God and you know, God woke me up and you know, I'm know I'm going to heaven because this and that and you know, now that you born again, you're like, wait a minute, when was I going to heaven when I was in the former world? There is no way. Because the Holy Spirit revealed you, you was not going to heaven, son. You was not going to heaven, daughter. So right, so you realize it's a tap out. So see, a tap out means the most high fixes all that needs to be fixed according to his glory and according to his will. You know, and of course, if your supplication is to his will. So that's the point. So there's never going to be one single thing. You understand? So right, nobody can get on the field as a soldier of Christ and be focused on one single thing. I don't care about what you say. Now, yeah, now, you know, like I say, if, you know, let, let buffeting be buffeting. But I'm going to say it again. A true soldier of God can't be focused on one thing because you know why? If you're really, see, let's, like I said, see, that's what I say. Let's forget about the characters in the book and focus on you. Right, remember, you, now you in God's book. So, they're going to focus on you. Right. So, if God got you doing a mission, or if God got you doing that, then you're not really a soldier for God. I don't know if, if you're born again or not. I really don't. But I'm going to say you're not really a soldier for God because you're not stepping shod in the shoes of peace. You're really not. Right. You don't, you're not really using the helmet of salvation. Your, your, your motivation and stuff is coming from somewhere else. You understand? And there's nothing wrong with us motivating one another, especially if it's Christ that motivated us and God that motivated Christ and the Spirit is the ultimate motivation. So see, a house is what God builds within you, a house itself. Right? That's why you're the temple. So you're not one single part of the temple that, oh, just this part is cute, just this part, no. You understand? That's why I say it's, no, it's not about the, that sweetness thing. You understand? God fulfills it all. So stop limiting God and stop living to limiting his servants, and, you know, and things like that. So, oh, yeah, well, you know, just, um, well, this is happening with a woman. This is happening with a man. This is happening with this. This is happening with that. This is happening, you know, what you have to do is you have to, you have to grow. And when you grow, you'll know what true edification means. And then when you really grow, you can help, you can help married couples, you can help unmarried couples, you can help a homeless man, you can help a rich man, you can help a middle class man, you can help somebody in the White House if they willing to drop that off. You can help, you understand, you can help pastors, you can help preachers, and they can help you, but at the same time, right, you understand, you have to realize that you have to be on the same page as far as God go, as far as Christ go. You have to take up the cross, you have to love God, you have to have the Holy Spirit, you have to not limit God and think that, oh yeah, well God, um, you know, God, like, just give me this house. Just give me the no. Just give me this apartment. Just give right. You have to realize God is gonna give you everything you need. You gotta realize in the spirit, everything you need is already there. And God already answered questions. But if you to follow God more, follow social media less, follow the follow your physical church less, and follow God. Well, your, well actually, you have your physical church, meaning where you go to, where you let your physical church be where the most high dwells, like it's supposed to be, like it's scripture, like it's true, like it's a spirit, like you know, like I know, that's what you gotta do, so remember, God is gonna, God refines everything, you understand, see, I mean, I'm gonna say this too, only Satan makes a stronghold, or try to make a stronghold out of one thing, so see, those of us that really know God, even when, the, the uh, you know, even when the messages or whatever, or trying to buffer us with, with one subject, Honestly, that don't even, we're not even, that, we're, we're not even bothered, but I'm, yeah, personally, I'm not, I'm not even bothered by that. I, I'm really not, because see, I, I know who God is. See, I had to go through certain situations to already know the plans of, you know, the devil and the plans of those that mi get misconstrued and beguiled by the devil. So, I had to learn this stuff, you know, and I learned it through God, of course, and through the experience of going through it. So, do you think